Well, folks, good afternoon and welcome back to the farm. We're not on our farm, in fact, we're on uh, my brother-in-law's family farm. Just running the uh, baler right now. What an escapade that's been so far. So the father-in-law called me about midday and said, hey, do you got time to come do some bailing? And I said, well, what are you thinking? He's like, well, I'm leaving the house right now. I was like, oh, okay, so we're right now then. And uh, came down here, got all hooked up, figured out what the baler was doing, which wasn't doing what it was supposed to be doing. We were broke down right off the get-go. Made one bale, turned it inside out, didn't work out well at all. Had some issues with the twine end, the twine arm, and uh, as well as the bale ejector. Wasn't working well at all. So we dumped that baler off and I made a quick round trip to Rio Grande to grab this baler that I got on right now. And we made one bale successfully, believe it or not. So, so that's positive. And uh, just going round and around and around today. So I had actually intended to go south of the house. Our, uh, we got a buffalo fence that runs north and south. Uh, a little bit it runs kind of northwest. It pretty much cuts the farm directly in half. Not symmetrically in half, but definitely divides it into two pieces. And uh, over the years the fence posts have been kind of pushed a little bit. They're leaning over. The buffalo wire doesn't provide much of a, I guess, defense against the cows when they start rubbing anything like that. So I had intended to actually go down there today and tear all that buffalo wire completely off with the intent of actually coming back in a day or two and putting four strands of barbed wire up there. Now with it being as doggone windy as it is today, I actually don't mind sitting in the tractor. It's kind of nice, got the air conditioning going and it's quite pleasant. Yesterday, in fact, was, I thought it was windy today, but yesterday was much, much worse. When I was supposed to be doing productive things, I was actually running around with the cordless impact trying to secure tin on the roof of a bunch of our outbuildings actually. We had uh, more than one of them. I could hear the tin start to do this and well, if you let it get to there, don't address it. Pretty soon it'll get to be in the neighbor's yard and uh, that definitely wasn't on my list of things that I wanted to work on. Well, I'm all done bailing for the day and I've seen this old girl over here so I just had to come to, come by and take a look. It's a Chevrolet 50 Viking. And I thought, man, oh man, the stories this thing could tell, absolutely glorious. What I wouldn't do to have a truck like this sitting in our yard, if it were running. Because, I mean, I can't fix this truck. I can wash this truck, but I can't, fi I can <laughs> I can't fix it. I can only give it confidence. That's pretty much the extent of my mechanical abilities but I did think it was a pretty cool old girl thought I'd come by and take a look well folks I've had a bit of supper and it's almost time for me to go for a cup of tea but just before I go I wanted to say thank you to everybody that tunes in every day watches these videos provides comments gives us insight gives us ideas and inspiration really appreciate it if you guys have any questions don't forget leave them below in the comment section and while you're there maybe you've subscribed maybe you haven't subscribed if you haven't you might be missing out Go down there, hit that button. Now, I'm gonna share this video on Facebook as I typically do every single day. Today, if you get to watch it today, then lucky you. I'm not sure if this is gonna work. I got put in the Facebook naughty corner because uh, I couldn't help myself. I just couldn't, I couldn't leave, I couldn't leave well enough alone. So uh, a gentleman on, on one of the local, whatever, Grand Prairie something forum or whatever on Facebook had said, you know, what does everybody think about climate change? I'm new to town, but what does everybody think about climate change? And by the way, I'm judging all of your intelligence based on how you answer this question. And so I just, I couldn't help myself. I just got to be like, you know what, man, I think you're a troll and I think you're kicking a hornet's nest in a room full of people. And that's all I said. It's just, you're a troll and you're kicking a hornet's nest in a room full of people. That's it. And didn't even talk about climate change, which whether I believe in that or don't believe in that is irrelevant. The fact of the matter is, is this guy was trying to stir people up. Well, anyways, I, I received a warning today 
that uh, for harassment and bullying, I'm in the naughty corner. So anyways, I'm going to try and post this video and hopefully it works and hopefully you get to see it today. If not, well, hmm, meh. Have to wait 24 hours, I suppose. Anyways, I will go get that cup of tea. So I hope you have a fantastic evening, and we'll see you tomorrow.